Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing extremely well. And this is your very own mask code at this side. So today the problem is sum of products. And let us see what does the problem say, right? So the problem says that you have been given an array of numbers 5, 10, 15. Okay, this is an example input. And you have to tell me the sum of bitwise and of all pairs ai comma aj where i is less than j right i, I is less than j and ai represents ith element of array ith element of array that is in this case if i mention it as first second third element i have to provide one and two plus one and three plus two and three right this will be my answer this will be my answer so if we solve it so 5 is actually represented as 101 and uh, 10 is represented as 1010 15 is represented as 1111 okay this way this is a bitwise notation of all three okay so if i evaluate this expression 1 and 2 that is 101 and 1010 uh, one, if i take the bitwise and this is 1 and 0 so 0 0 0 0 right i can evaluate a 0 here okay plus 1 and 3 so 1 oh sorry 0 1 0 1 1 1 1 1 if i take the and this is 1 uh, this is 0 this is 1 this is 0 right plus 2 and 3 2 and 3 means 10 and 15 so 1 0 1 0 with 1 1 1 1 again a 0 1 a 0 1 right so what is the answer this is evaluating to be 5 plus this is the binary representation of 10 so my answer will be 15 right my answer will be 15 so how can you solve this problem how can i solve this problem the first and the brute force approach is very clear to you very clear to you right what you will do you will use nested loops nested loops right now the condition is i should be less than j that means my first loop will go from 0 to n minus 1 and my second loop suppose this is my variable i i is going from 0 to n minus 1 and the nested loop j will go from i plus 1 up till n minus 1 right so the pseudo code will look something like for int i going from 0 i less than n i plus plus for int j going from i plus 1 j less than n j plus plus and what i will do i will say answer plus equals to array of i bitwise and this is a symbol for bitwise and it is just place above your 7 if you press shift 7 on your keyboard you will get an and ai with aj this loop ends this loop ends and you just say return your answer right and you will have to initialize your uh, int answer here so int answer equals to zero currently right this is your brute force approach what is the time complexity so we are using a nested loops o of n square space complexity o of one not using not using any extra space right but can we optimize it is it possible to optimize it so let us look at the optimized approach right optimized approach right so whenever i encounter a bit manipulation question I just go by two to three approaches one of them is to use the number of bits the number of bits so we know in the c++ language or in any language a bit a number is represented in 32 bits right a number is represented in 32 bits so the numbers given to us in the integer data type are actually not greater than the numbers represented by 32 bits max right for the given example we had 5 10 15 right what is the binary representation of 5? So it is 0, 1, 0, 1. For 10, it is 1, 0, 1, 0. For 15, it is 1, 1, 1, 1. Right? Right? Are we on the same page? Right. Okay. Our, our main aim is to get the sum of bitwise and. Sum of bitwise and. And if you see this clearly, you can be seen that this condition i less than j is actually making up for the fact that all these pairs will already occur once 
that is i can have pair 5 with 15 only ones 10 with 15 only ones and 5 with 15 only ones all the pairs that is nc2 will occur nc2 will occur n into n minus 1 by two pairs will be formed this should be clear up till now okay this should be clear up till now okay so i have to figure out a way that i am pairing a 5 with 15 5 with 10 10 with 15 right each pair only occurs once right no duplicates allowed now what can i do to solve this i say i go bitwise so i if i mention this at zeroth bit first bit second bit third bit at the zeroth bit how many elements are one how many elements are set so i can say 5 is set 15 is set right at the first bit how many elements are set i can say 10 is set 15 is set at the second bit how many bits are elements are set i can say 5 is set 15 is set at the thir third bit how many elements are set i can say 10 is set 15 is set so at the zeroth position two elements are set at the one position two elements are set second position two elements are set 10 and 15 two elements are set at the third position for the fourth fifth six you can see that all of them are zero so no elements are set zero 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 now i just had to find i just had to find number of elements who were set on each bit so zero to one two three four two 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 this is actually happening right and let, now see how will i make you make it up for this how will i uh, profess the answer so i say i need to find sum of bitwise ends sum of bitwise and now my approach is that it uh, that at any bit at any bit so let's suppose this bit at one bit how many numbers are get, getting actually two what are the pairs of number i can choose to get one bit as positive i can say only two c2 that is only i can choose one pair if there had been four four elements at the set bit uh, at the one for set bit what would be the case i can say four c2 that is four into three by two that is six elements i can say six pairs can be formed so i had to do this one 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 six times i had to do this one 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 six times so what is actually happening is i am saying this pair is actually adding at the zeroth position only one zero into one this one is getting here and this zero is getting here and this is the evaluation one one getting multiplied by one this one is actually getting here and this one is actually getting here this one two one and this one three multiplied by one and this is my sum if i take the sum of these elements i get my answer so what is this this is one into one that is one this is two into one that is two plus four plus eight so my answer will be one plus two plus four plus eight which is 15 and my answer which which was coming out in the original approach was also 15 so this is my approach let us revise what we do we calculated the number of set bits at each bit at each bit position for all the 32 bits right and we multiplied 1 into 0 but 1 left shifted by the number of bits the bit count we are using into the number of pairs that can be formed so this is my approach i'm writing it down so i'm saying my answer is currently 0 right I will move my eye from 0 up till 31 right I will initialize k equal to 0 that is the count of elements with set bit at ith position now for j in all the array in whole array what I will do is if arr of j and with this in that case k plus plus and after that answer plus equals to 1 left shifted by i into k into k minus 1 by 2 so this is actually this part and this is actually nc2 that is count c2 right so this is my approach hope you are able to understand it and if any problems arise i'm there to help you in the comment section or on my discord or on my linkedin no no problems from my side and let us move to the code now so here we are on the coding section and before writing out the code, jotting down the code, I would like you to subscribe to my channel if you are new here and do not forget to like my videos, right? And connect with me on the LinkedIn, Instagram. I'm open to you guys, okay? So long, long answer equals to zero. That will be my final answer. 
I will move my bits from 0 to 32. So for int i going from 0 up till 32 i plus plus. I will take account long long count equals to 0. Right. And I will say for int j going from 0 j less than n j plus plus if arrj bitwise and with 1 moved by i, uh, I bits in that case in that case count plus plus in that case count plus plus and after that answer plus equals to 1 left to by i bits star k into k minus 1 by 2 this will be k star right k star k minus 1 by 2 and at last return your answer this should work fine and let us try to compile run it oh, okay this will be count here So you can see this is turning out to be fine and let us try it for submit also. Hope it works for the, all the bag and cases also. So you can see I have completed my 19 day streak and thank you guys for all your support and keep supporting me and we'll meet tomorrow with a new question and also I will be dropping down one to two more videos today of the in the placement series also so you can watch them out also. Okay have a nice day bye.